thank you so much for watching this video i wanted to make another video about a question that i usually get from internet you know some of them usually ask me this question are you a full-time or a part-time cross-dresser you know it's a good question i started out as a cross-dresser and i didn't know where i was heading to i thought that was my life and i started moving on to a point where i was discovering myself i was discovering based on the opportunity I had, based on the environment I had, lots of friends that I met. I went to different conferences. I started interacting with different kinds of people. I was very open to who I was and that helped me to understand and see who I was too. It kind of helped me to come out of my shell and uh, I knew that I was a little bit different from a cross-dresser because I wasn't focusing on my dressing but it was I was more focusing on my gender I was trying to be more honest with my gender and I felt more happy uh, even when I was able to express in a much smaller way and I think it's important for us to understand that it's not about part-time or full-time but we are always full-time when we identify ourselves as a trans person as a transgender woman or as a transgender man. As transgender individuals, our lives are so different. Though we go through a lot of cisgender kind of gender roles that we do in our lives, I think it's important for us to also attribute to the fact that we have the transness in us. You know, trans means going across the boundaries and that is basically what is trans about. You know, transgender, uh, transvestite, transsexual, there's a lot of trans in the way they describe a particular character of a person. Now, anyway, I just wanted to, uh, you know, basically talk about my uh, life and I felt that it's not about part-time or full-time, but every time you are a transgender person and you know you're a transgender person, your life is very different, you know, you're totally different. A lot of things that you do is very different and you have a little more compassion, you're much more nicer to your kids. There are a lot of things that you can always attribute to and you, that beautiful transness that you carry within you is always expressed through your lives. You know, it's much more nicer and you're able to be a good person. And most of all, I want to tell you that, you know, please respect your femininity. Respecting your femininity is more important than anything else. If you do not respect your femininity, if you consider that you are your feminine side is more of a sexual, erotic, party type girl, then you know you're gonna have that kind of an attitude towards you too. If you want to keep yourself as a more conservative and a real person, you know, like a, a, a any any other woman, then uh, you would probably realize that you're treating that person with respect. So I want to thank you for watching this quick video and uh, I want to put in your mind that it's not part time, it's not full time, but always respect that human being that is inside you and respect that femininity that is inside of you and that is going to make you a much better person than any human being on this planet. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, God bless you. Bye.